Hello and welcome back to my Slay the Spire series. Today I'm going to be playing The Defect on Ascension 17. Let's go and, you know, I was thinking. I was not thinking very much, but I was thinking. I might try to do a new strategy. Okay, a new strategy, which is just playing really quickly <laughs> and not thinking about what I'm doing. Now, logically speaking, you're probably saying, why would you do that? You're just going to, like, die because you aren't thinking. Which is fair enough, but my idea is that if I just play somewhat fast, then I'm going to be able to play more of the game. And so I'm going to be able to... <laughs> um, learn more by playing more of the game. Now, obviously, I have immediately um, gone back on that idea by thinking for more than three seconds on my turn, uh, which is obviously terrible, a terrible thing to do. Um, I don't know. This is over. This, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, basically, I just feel like I'm kind of hitting a wall with a lot of these characters where it's like... I'm just getting stuck, right? I'm getting stuck on these ascensions, which is not inherently, like, a terrible thing. But I feel like I just don't play enough in order to really see the improvement that I need in order to actually like not just lose <laughs> all the time uh, do I need another capacitor I think I don't like it's kind of feels bad to pass up right now but I don't know there's defragment um whatever Let's get rid of a guy. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's basically it. It's just, you know, I lose a lot, um, which is fine. You know, it's fine to lose. But, like, I want to make progress and not just be stuck playing this game for the next five years, right? And in order to accomplish that, I think I just need to play the game more than I am. You know, one hour every two days is cool, but it's also just not a lot <laughs> in the grand scheme of things. Uh, I'm almost dead here. Which is pretty lit. In fact, I am dead here. So there we go. We get to play another run. <laughs> After I immediately am deceased. Uh, that's unfortunate. I didn't think that run was going terribly, but uh, I guess lightning orbs make it hard to win against that fight, the sentries. I don't know, what's the defect strategy? Like, you know, there was a, a decent amount of time where I was thinking that Defect and Silent were my worst characters, and Watcher and um, Ironclad were my best characters. And then it was like, wait a minute, Silent is actually my best character, and Defect I'm pretty consistent with. But nowadays it's kind of returned to what I originally said, which is no, Actually, Silent and Defect are my worst characters. <laughs> Ironclad and Watcher are my best characters. Again, so... I don't know. Maybe it just needed time to balance out, or... Maybe something else happened. Who knows? Um, this looks fun. 
Ooh, Mayhem. I think it's probably gonna be good, actually. Okay. Alright, I think this fight should be relatively easy with what I've got. Mayhem was a huge draw. IMO. Okay. If I can dual cast the Dark Orb, that would be sweet. Cool. I don't know, I'm kind of just rambling because I'm trying to cruise through the game, but I don't really know what I'm saying. Um, this is a decent deck, but it's kind of a bad matchup. Actually, all of these would kind of be bad matchups, if I'm being completely honest. Um, Ball Lightning is good, I think. Actually. Yeah, sure, let's go Ball Lightning. And let's not take a Sunder. Let's get rid of a strike. We've got a lot of damage, actually. The Loki Sunder might not have been that bad, considering... Um, considering we have a lot of zero-cost attacks, like, Beam Cell into, um... Sunder would have been pretty decent, but it's fine. Another FTL? The thing is, I don't really want to go <clears throat> a bunch of cheap cards, just in general, because I've learned that the archetype sucks, but also against this boss, right? Like, I think a second FTL is just a bit much for me. Um, I don't mind a rainbow here, though. Gives me an Aya uh, Frost Orb, which is just a little bit of, you know, block. I'm actually not going to play the Zap, although I probably should have, because then it would have been a guaranteed lethal here. So that one's on me. I think it's pretty much guaranteed lethal anyways, but it actually would have been guaranteed lethal if I zapped, because the dual cast was the last card in my deck, which I knew was guaranteed to be the case. Um, buffer is interesting, but I don't know if I really want it here. I think I'm just going to take a charge battery... Um, should I fight another elite? Become cursed. No. <laughs> I feel like I should use the wing boots to dodge elites and not fight elites, but also I do have a lot of health. Like, I feel like I, this is fine. Yeah, screw it. And then... Doom and Gloom. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of damage in this fight, but I think that's okay. Um, let's see. Rainbow. Ball Lightning, and you're dead. Emotion Chip. We do have a decent orb deck right now, actually. As crazy as that sounds. Like, go for the eyes and beam cell. They're still good with, like, ball lightning. So maybe with a motion ship, I start going orbs. Apparently, rainbow is bad. I don't know. I kind of like rainbow. Just channel some crap. Why not, right? Like, look at that. Boom. Um, boom. And I'm actually not going to play the cool headed because I want to do as much damage as possible. Sweet. Um, I think zap into ball lightning is where I want to be at. And I'll play the charge battery. Get an extra energy. I need some block. Okay, I'll take that, and then weaken you, and I take one. Not a big deal. This darkness orb is going to be pretty big, I think. Oh, and I got the emotion chip, because I took one damage. That's pretty lit. Uh, I can play most of these cards. 
I definitely want to play Rainbow, and I definitely want to play the two defense, so I guess I just can't play Ball Lightning. It's fine. Not a big deal. Um, wow. Dual cast have been better there. On the darkness orb, maybe? I don't know, actually. Okay. I am a little bit low, but this is fine, I think. Uh, let's do charge battery into FTL. Into defend, into zap, into... Ah, uh, yeah, sure, we'll go ball lightning. Get some more damage in there. We can take this hit. And then... Is this guy dead? Yes. Cool. A biased Cognition, Multicast, and Hyper Beam. Um, biased Cognition is cool for fast fights. It's not good for long fights unless I can get Artifact. Multicast is... Meh. I'm definitely feeling like multicast is not amazing unless you can get a ton of energy with it. Let's take bias cognition. Black Star, Snekoi, Pandora's Box. Well, I think that I need the strikes and defend, so let's play Black Star. Or let's take Black Star. We've already fought a couple elites, right? I mean, we fought, what, three elites already? Granted, we got Darkstone, Periapt, and Wing Boots, which is kind of useless. But, you know, the other things are okay. <laughs> so let's fight some more elites, huh? I think I will try and go to the shop. Dude. <laughs> this is so bad, actually. Um... Okay. Dang, man, the birds. I swear the birds are, like, one of the hardest fights in the entire game, actually. I don't think that's an exaggeration, either. It's such a crazy thing for me to say. If we can get to the Darkness Orb, we're actually gonna, like, murder... Uh, I think this is GG. Cool. Honestly, not a bad fight, so I can't complain. And Pile Driver, I think, is good. Especially because we have Beam Cell and FTL. Like, we actually kind of want to be drawing cards and, like, playing attacks. Chill would also be nice, but... Pile Driver. We don't have any powers this run. Sure. Man. Yeah, I wish we had more powers to help us out here. But we don't. So. You know, it is what it is. Should have played bias cognition first. Although you know what? Screw it. I'll just play ball lightning instead. Maybe his bias cog isn't good enough here. Oh, this is lethal. Sweet. Tempest. Dang. Do I take a fusion? Emotion shift doesn't do anything with fusion though, does it? Oh no, it does. It gives me an extra energy. Right, fusion, or uh, plasma isn't affected by focus, but it is affected by the passive, of course, as well as evoking. Tempest, man, Tempest with multicast would have been cool if I had uh, Chemical X, but alas. 
a capacitor. Capacitor's huge. I definitely want a capacitor. If I could afford the barrage, I would have thinking about taking it, but or I would have thought about taking it. Is proper English. Um, I don't think I want ritual dagger. I'll just take the extra gold. And let's go ahead and fight an elite. If I need to, I can go here to heal. I am kind of scared of, like, slavers. Okay, gremlin mob I think is okay. I do need to upgrade cards. I don't have enough upgrades. I need to upgrade fusion is what made me think that. But also, like, I'm low-key dying this turn. I don't know if anybody else noticed that. <laughs> um, okay. I thought this would be an easy fight, but apparently it's not. Oh my god. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. This is insane. Okay, I'm alive, but like, what was that? <laughs> that was insane. I might die still. Okay, I think I'm good. I, I don't know, I think I just have to go for like, the giga kill. Okay. Apparently I don't. I just deal 50 damage, 52 damage in one turn. Uh, and now my focus is at negative one. So, everyone, I fear I may be dead. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that was good. <laughs> you know, I thought this run was going okay, but then I just died. Um, and that's fine, I guess. Whatever. Turns out Rainbow sucks. Also, Bias Cognition. I shouldn't have played it that early, I guess, is the the real moral of the story. Oh, Philosopher's Stone. Yeah. That is good. Um, okay. Well, you know what you're supposed to do when you get really bad starting relic is you just take as many elites as possible and you try to stack relics and you hope that it all works out in the end uh this is 30 damage and i have 27. all right <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i don't know this is um this is not looking hot I mean, okay, why did I take that? Whatever, it's fine, <laughs> it's fine, okay, it's fine, I don't even worry about it. I know I just took a literally a useless card, I actually cannot use it, I know, but just wait until I get some frost, right, then it'll be really good. Obviously. Um, I don't know. I think I was just thinking, like, since I have Philosopher's Stone, then it would be good for me to be able to block a lot and, like, kind of stall. And maybe that will be good enough to, like, carry me. But, you know... I don't have any frost, so I shouldn't have taken blizzard, is my thought process, after the fact. 
Um, it's fine though. This guy's dead, right? Yes. Bearing a bottle. Perfect. Ball lightning, cool headed, charge battery. I mean, in theory, I should take cool headed. But also, ball lightning is good. Um, let's try and get ball lightning and zap off. Okay. Four energy is a really big deal against this boss. Because it means I can play all the cards, so I can do more and block more. Um, now, unfortunately, I'm dead. <laughs> I mean, I'm technically not dead because I've got the berry in a bottle, but might as well be dead. Because that was quite bad. Okay. Alright, well, I used my fairy. So, there we go. It's cool, I guess. Um, I don't really care to upgrade those. Let's just upgrade Beam Cell. And then let's fight this elite and hope it's not sentries. Okay. Some of the absolute worst draws possible. He's pounding me into oblivion. And now I'm dead. <laughs> I mean, you know, I probably just shouldn't have fought the elites. This has been a good episode. I've gotten three runs in 22 minutes. I'd argue that's good pace to make it to Act 3. Um, <laughs> but clearly Defect is just not liking me very much today, right? And I think I'm partially to blame for that. I'll admit it. I'll admit that I've not done much to earn the trust of... Uh, the defect. But at the same time, you know, maybe it's a little bit unfair the way that I've been treated, okay? Just give me something good. Give me something cool. I mean, I did also ask for no sentries, and then I got no sentries, and then I still died, so... Maybe I am the one to blame. Um, compile driver. Compile driver with only ball lightning? Yeah, that's good. Uh, let's just go ahead and double defend. No reason to play Sunder this early. And I can just block a little bit. Bam, you're dead. Uh, core Surge is huge, yeah. This run's going a little bit better, I have to admit. Excuse me, had to clear my throat. Um, I think I'll go ahead and upgrade the Zap. I like upgrading those types of cards. Molten Egg is massive. Alright, well this is the run. This will be my last run of the day, how about that? I'll say that, that way I actually don't troll and try to win. <laughs> Because, I mean, if I lose this run, then the defect is done so, I think. Like, I have to be able to win a run like this. Right? Cold snap. Okay. I take 11 here, which is pretty bad. I definitely need more defense cards. But at the same time, mm. I don't think I want another cold snap. It's like too much indexing. I shouldn't fight the burning elite, right? That feels way too risky. Let's just go here. We stocks. Oh shoot, clockwork souvenir. This makes bias cognition really good, actually. If we get it, of course. Uh, I'll go ahead and remove a strike because I've got so many damage cards. 
Right now I'm thinking about a sweeping beam, because I have zero AoE right now, and AoE is pretty good against most acts. I don't want a beam cell. Okay, bias cognition would be huge, especially with core surge. Like I've got core surge and I've got clockwork souvenir, so the artifact comes in really easily. Like the thing is, beam cell's okay. You know what? I will take the beam cell actually. It's upgraded. There's a go for the eyes. Um, I don't think I want to fight the elite though. I'll just go ahead and upgrade some cards that I think would be good to play. Sunder upgrade. The thing is, we aren't playing Sunder that often because it costs three. Uh, let's do a sweeping beam and probably into double defend. Uh, I'll do a cold snap. I'll just take one damage. No big deal. Goodbye, my friend. Um, I don't need an ancient potion. I don't need these either. You know, maybe I will upgrade the Sunder, though. <laughs> Looking now that I'm thinking about it. No, I think I need defend upgrades, actually. It's been a long time since I've upgraded a basic defender strike. I should actually do it more often. Like, I, I think it's one of my biggest um, blind spots in my gameplay is that I don't use upgrades on the stuff that I actually need. Um, I think I'm actually okay to go ham here. What the... Just got a notification on my phone. Okay. Um, yeah, this is like good damage. So, I don't mind it. I don't mind going in. Hit you. Um, I could pop both of them this turn. I think that's worth it. Because their, uh, their splits are going to be super weak, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Literally absolute worst case scenario, but it's fine. Sweet. Uh, another core surge, a reboot, and a buffer. You know, buffer is interesting. Core, like, getting a ton of artifacts could be really interesting. Buffer is so nice, but screw it. I'll take another Pandora's box, but come on. <laughs> um, Sozu. Sozu? Sure. Let's take Sozu. I think with Sunder, I really value having the extra energy. That way I can actually do something with Sunder. Um, burning Elite in Act 2 feels risky, but also so does Fighting Elites. But it's fine. I'll go down to the Triple Elite path anyways, because I feel like it. I have Sozu. Um, it's fine. So I really want to hold on to my potions, right? Until, like, I actually need them. Uh, let's do Compile Driver, Beam Cell, Ball Lightning. You're dead. I didn't even have to do Dual Cast. Chill. Chill looks good here. In my opinion, it's an innate chill. Leap could be something, to be completely honest with you, but I'll do a chill. Uh, sweeping beam, chill, core surge, huge. I love getting rid of that. I mean, I already had clockwork souvenir, I guess. But this guy also makes you vulnerable and crap like that, so it's nice to get rid of the... Uh, the debuffs, right? He likes to apply a lot of debuffs. Alright, sweet. The extra energy helping out a lot, I would say. Another Sunder? Now that feels like a bit much. It is upgraded, which is chill, 
but mm, if I had like five energy, maybe. <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, double sunder is not that bad though. Eh, it's kind of bad. I think one sunder is enough. I'm gonna take some events. Am I crazy for wanting to take Ritual Dagger here? I have so many attacks that exhaust. I mean, the thing is, Ritual Dagger is kind of like Hand of Greed, where it's like you want to execute with it. And if you don't, it feels bad. I'm only losing 6 HP. I'm gaining 50 gold, though. I think because I have Courier, then f the gold becomes worth it. Um, I could immediately remove this curse. Bronze scales. I mean, do I care about any of these? I don't think so, right? I think I'm down just to remove this curse and uh, be on with my day. Like, FTL could be something, but it also could not be something. Dude, Sadistic Nature is kind of a cool card. I can't take it, though. Uh, you know, maybe I will go down this path to the burning. It is scary, but I've got double potion. I have bronze scales, which is decent. Against some of these fights. Against Book of uh, Stabbing, I think it's pretty good. I'm not going to play the Sunder because I want to play the rest of my cards. This is a scary fight, though. I'm not going to hide that from anybody. I mean, I think everybody knows that this fight can get out of hand very quickly. Uh, 13 plus 16 is 29, plus 3 is 31. I'm taking 24, though. Like, that's crazy. If I play double defend, though... Okay, I'll, I'll play it safe like this. 28 damage. Okay, I lived. And I have a little bit of health. Thunderstrike? I don't think I have enough ways to channel lightning for that to be worth it. Another ball lightning feels like a lot. Because I need more defense. I don't need more offense. I could either smith one of these defends or rest. I think I'll rest for now to play it safe. I do want to use this regen potion, but I'm going to need time for it to regen me. Alright, screw it. Let's just use it. This fight's not going to be over anytime soon. Twenty-five percent chance. Okay. I'll play it like this so that I get more block. Okay. Well, I'm low health. That's fine. Uh, I am getting scared. I don't think darkness is worth it. Like, even though I have a compile driver. I don't know, darkness is just like, it's a deck that you need to build around. Ice cream. Okay. I want to upgrade my defense. I think it'll end up being more worth it for me. boom. Get my energy back. And the energy coming back matters a lot because of ice cream. So that's cool. I don't know if there's any ways that I can abuse ice cream right now. But that's fine. Okay. I'm definitely worried about this fight. Sweet. I have literally no ways to get rid of that. Oh lord, okay. Okay, 
Okay. I mean... Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Take the damage. Uh, should I have used the power potion? Like, I don't know. I can't kill anybody. I'm so stupid. I, yeah. Alright. I'm playing very poorly right now, which is a recipe for success. Maybe it doesn't matter. If I can get Sunder plus some good stuff, maybe it's possible. Thunder is 24. It's all up to luck, actually. Is it better to play the Power Potion? So what do I need? I need one of these to hit this guy. Which is like a 50-50. <laughs> if I play Power Potion, what could I get that would even help? Like, buffer. I would need it to be upgraded. So... You know what? Okay. <laughs> uh, dang. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, uh, man. Well, I guess I just can't win with the defects. <laughs> just 0% chance to win with this character. Um... That's fine. You know. You, you win some, you lose some. I lose a lot, apparently. And uh, that's life. You just gotta put up with it and deal with it. Anyways. I did some cool stuff. I almost made it to Act 3. I feel like it's been so long since I made it to Act 3 with a character that wasn't the Ironclad. So, I don't know what happened to me. I guess I'm just washed. Uh, I've got a unwash myself i gotta dirty myself in order to get back on the climb and slay the spire which i guess makes sense right you know all the characters that defeat the spire they aren't exactly clean themselves so i've got to take a hard long look in the mirror and uh not take a shower i don't know anyways i've rambled on for long enough that's gonna be it for me for today's episode thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed hope you have a good rest of your day or rest of your night whenever wherever you are in the world while watching this and I hope to see you next time on my next Slay the Spire video, where I'll be playing The Watcher on Ascension 19, hoping to get my first Ascension 19 win, get my first character to Ascension 20. Hope to see you all there. I'm out of here. Peace.